Hi, I'm Johnny, one of the Study Happy Ambassadors at the University of Warwick Library. And today we're talking all about a project which is about challenging preconceptions, coming across people you might not usually. It's called the Human Library. And Giles, who joins me now, is a part of it. Hi, Giles. Great to see you. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. And it's good. It's good to have you on. Um, so the Human Library, it's a project really about challenging preconceptions, isn't it? Uh, yes, um, and so um, uh, uh, books and and and, and readers uh, come to come together uh, to uh, uh, to discuss the the the, um, uh, the prejudice that the books uh, have have faced um, in their lives and, and their experiences of that. Um, um, th th these can be uh, uh, characteristics that are wide ranging from. Um, from dis disability or, or racial discrimination, uh, really, really any any form of uh, of prejudice that uh, that that uh, they faced, um, but uh, it's it, it's really a platform for encounter where um, both both books and readers can can learn from from that conversation. The uh, the readers learn about that about the experience of prejudice, but also the book learns as well. Um, and, and learns learns about the uh, um, perhaps the objective perspective, the, the, the third party perspective, um, and, and that that can be very useful too to uh, to try and um, nor normalise um, the characteristic as well to actually realise that despite the prejudice they may have faced um, um, in the world, um, that 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 prejudice is is limited to uh, to a small minority. In fact. Most people generally are are very very accepting, but it's also a learning experience too. Because, as you say, um, it, it's an opportunity to uh, to meet people that you've you've never come across before, and, and these can often be characteristics that you've you've heard about, but maybe you haven't been able to pluck up the courage to to ask. So, um, as a reader, as a reader, it's a great opportunity to. Uh, um, to come along and uh, and and have and have that discussion. Um, certainly, as as a book, you can have that discussion as well uh, with with the other books that are, who are there. Um, and so, so even even as a book, you learn something. So, so the thing that's special about the Human Library is um, that the books are people. They're 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 people that you can um, get to know, and you say sort of challenge their preconceptions. So you come along as a reader. And rather than taking out a physical book, you, you, you take out this book, which is a person and, you, and really it grants you a conversation, doesn't it, mm. uh, with, with this yes. person. And it's um, it's an open and honest dialogue uh, with this human book. And it's all about a conversation without any judgment and just to try and sort of understand their way in life a little bit more. Uh, yes, that, that's that's precisely it. So the, um, uh, so the human library uses the, the language of the library. Uh, to try and evoke the, uh, um, the the safe the, the safe space that a library is, it's a it's a safe environment where members of the public come together to um, to to learn and and experience new things uh, with each other, um, and and so um, it really is a, um, um, a a really really vital use of language to try and help describe the the, uh, the encounter. So Giles, each book has a sort of short description that before you meet the person, you can say, right, I want to I want to talk to this person today. Um, and you're a book. So yes. what's your uh, description and what do you think some of the sort of preconceptions people might have about you are? Uh, OK, so, so um, my, um, my, my my book title is um, Disabled Man. And um, I, I with, with this title, I, I wanted to uh, uh, to challenge the. Uh, um, the preconceptions that others have about disability when they when they meet me, um, and so um, a, 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 lot, a lot of people, not not everybody, but a lot of people who haven't um, had a personal experience of disability either themselves or or family family or friends can um, have the uh, misapprehension that uh, all, all people with disabilities. Um, Use wheelchairs, um, um, so they have a visible marker of their of their disability um, in that way. But really, um, 
that that's a preconception driven by the um, the, the the sign the international sign for disability, which is a wheelchair. Whereas in reality, um, disability is a whole lot more complex than that. Um, it, it, it really does run the range of both um, physical, intellectual, and and, uh, uh, and and mental disabilities, as well as uh, as well as medical conditions, which are are, are very debilitating, uh, which don't but don't necessarily have a uh, um, an outward visible sign. Um, and so that's that's really one of the major um, preconceptions that I, I wish to challenge, uh, because I, 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 I um, because it's important to um, to, to, to realise that disability is 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 wide ranging, and we, we and we we, we mustn't ha have a preconception that is ina that is inaccurate, um, and uh, and indeed um, it's it's also important to. Uh, um, to, to remember that um, whilst you have a disability, that doesn't also mean you can't have a full life. So an another preconception I was to challenge is the idea that disabled people are dependent or they don't have relationships, they don't have, so that, that, that they don't engage in the, the normal day-to-day -day activities that the able-bodied population also engage in. Um, um, disabled people have the, the same wants, feelings, and desires um, as as everybody else, both personally and and in the workplace. Um, so um, it's um, it's very important to also for me to also um, make it make it clear that um, that the disabled people do indeed lead lead very full lives. So someone comes in, they say, right today, I'd like to speak to this book that, that is a as you say, disabled man. And, and, and then here you are, um, you know, you're not in a wheelchair, your, your disability means that um, you can't sort of stand for long periods of time, you have difficulty with that, or maybe sort of climbing many sets of stairs or something that is a diff different sort of, um, uh, has different sorts of effects on you. Um, and really what this is about is, is breaking the stereotype and people may well have just thought of a disabled person as that international sign, someone in a wheelchair. Mm. But when they meet you and they have a conversation with you, and that's what it is, they can break any stereotype they may have in their mind. Uh, sure, uh, uh, that that's um, that that's a uh, uh, a big part of it. The, the, sort of the un, the un, breaking the uh, the, un, the unspoken um, uh, prejudice or prejudices or misconceptions there. But but also there's there, there's an opportunity for for the reader to um, to raise their own. Their own experiences of disability, either uh, either personally or, or um, themselves, or or, um, or or with people they know, and so that means that it, it is very much more of a conversation. Um, so, so I, I, as a book, also learn from them about um, the experience, the experiences of of others, other able-bodied people who who have lived lived with um, or, or had experience of. Um, others with disabilities so I, I, I gain the, the advantage of that perspective but also um, I, I think uh, um, it also also allows uh, allows me to to uh, um, educate uh, uh, and, um, and and also provide some in information for them about disability should they not have previously experienced it themselves so really it's that that that, uh, um, that uh, um double-sided uh insight uh, there giles let's talk about truth bombs because they sound yes. very exciting and Indeed. when you're a, a book a human book you have the opportunity to maybe hold back a bit of information about yourself until mm. the time where you feel is right and you can pick up the truth bomb and, and drop it and i suppose that makes the conversation um a, a bit more exciting and perhaps a bit more engaging and also um adds to that element of surprise uh, y yes yes certainly it keeps the keeps the conversation flowing because uh um you can imagine it, it, if you just stick to it to a, a script as it were then the the conversation can um uh, can lapse into silence but certainly having information holding information back can can certainly make uh, the, the narrative more interesting for, for both for both book and reader um and so, um, one of one of the truth bombs that I uh, that I deploy, as it were, um, 
is that I, I, I'm I'm in a, in a in a happy, committed, romantic relationship, and I have a a wide circle of friends both in Britain and and abroad, and indeed I, I, I've I, I've travelled uh, very widely as an as an adult, um, uh, both to to, to um, uh, both in Europe and uh, and in America and Australasia. So um, it's um, so I, I think. Uh, um, it's uh, truth bombs like that that really help to to um, add colour to to the story that I present. Um, that, that indeed I, I, I am um, living living that full life that I, that I uh, that, that I want to impart. Uh, and when when somebody finishes their conversation with you, I suppose they come to the conclusion, and it's a conclusion you know, which obviously. Um, you've guided this discussion you sort of know where it's going to go is that yes you're disabled but that you are so much more than that uh, yes that's that, that's very much the uh, um the the, the takeaway uh, as it were the, the the one the one piece of information i, I wish uh, for my readers to, to to leave um uh knowing is that despite disabilities despite its difficulties and its challenges and and and, and there are there are many the the uh um, d disability is, is by no means an easy thing to live with, um, but it's um, it, it, it's much it's much more than than the difficult times um, and, and the difficulties that you see presented in in the media. It's it's very much about a a, a full life, full full range of experiences, and I'm uh, I'm I, I'm very happy and uh, to and privileged to to impart that. Giles, thanks uh, for sharing that with us today. It's really great to learn more about the Human Library. Right. Thank you. And if you're interested in you know, becoming a reader or becoming uh, a book, then do head to the Warwick Library websites where you can find more information about the Human Library and uh, events that are coming up soon. Thanks for watching. See you soon.